Welcome back, sixth grade. Today's topic is mean, median, mode, and range. So we're going to focus on how to find these four things. Um, together, these are called measures of central tendency. And we'll talk more about what that means in class. But let's focus on how to find each of these four things. Mean is the average. You may remember this from fifth grade. So mean is just the average of a set of numbers. To find the mean, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add all the numbers together. After we add all the numbers together, we're going to divide the sum of those numbers by how many numbers they, there were. So we're going to count how many numbers we started with. After we add them, we're going to divide by that number. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say that these are the numbers of goals scored during a game. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to add up all these numbers. So I take my 3 plus 5 plus 4, 4, 8, 7, 4, and 5, and those are going to total up to be 40. Now, I have to look at how many numbers did I originally have. So, I originally had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different numbers. So, I take my 40, I divide by 8, that gives me 5, so my mean is 5, my average is 5. You try 1. Find the mean of this set of numbers, 3, 2, 4, 9, 7, 7, 6, 2, 5, and 5. Okay, let's go ahead and check our answer. When we add these numbers together, hopefully you got 50. There were 10 numbers, so we divide by 10. And again, that gives us a mean of 5, an average of 5 for these numbers. The median is just the middle number in a set of numbers. To find the median, the first thing that we're going to do is order the numbers from least to greatest. So put the smallest number all the way up to the greatest number. After we do that, we're going to count equally from the sides toward the middle, and the middle number is our median. So let's take a look at an example of how we do that. Again, we're going to use our number of goals scored in a game. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put those numbers in order from least to greatest. So let's go ahead. I like to cross out as I list them so that I make sure I get them all. Now that I've got them from least to greatest, I'm going to count towards the middle. As I count towards the middle, I'm going to, I like to cross out, so I'm going to cross out those numbers so that I can make sure I find the ones in the middle. Okay, so I've got a 4 and a 5 in the middle. Now, the, for the median, you can only have one number. So if I end up with two numbers in the middle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the average. So I'll take 4 plus 5, that's 9. I divide that by 2, and I get my average of 4.5. So for median, if you end up with two numbers that are in the middle, you need to find the average of those. Add them up, divide them by 2, and that's going to give you your median. Try this one. Okay, check your answer. First thing we're going to do is put them in order from least to greatest. Start crossing out. I have two middle numbers, 5 and 5. Add them up, divide by 2. My median is 5. Now on this one, 
Did I really have to add up and divide by 2? Not really because they were the same number. But just a reminder that if you have 2 in the middle, you need to add them and divide by 2. Now, If you only have 1 in the middle, you've got your work cut down. That's the median. Let's go ahead and look at the mode. The mode is the number that occurs most frequently in a set. So we're just looking for the one that's there the most often. Example, we've got our number of goals again. If we look at this set of numbers, we're going to look for which one occurs the most. Well, just looking, I can tell that I have three fours. So my mode is the number four. That's the number that occurs the most in the set. You try this one. Okay, looking at my set of numbers, I notice that I have two numbers, three numbers, that are modes. It's okay to have more than one mode. So if I have three different numbers that all occur multiple times, that all occur twice, there's no number that occurs three times, all three of those numbers can be my mode. It's okay to have one, more than one mode. Not okay to have more than one mean, not okay to have more than one median, but it's okay to have more than one mode. So this gets a little tricky, but it's okay if you have more than one on the mode. Let's look at range. Range is the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. So to find the range, the easiest thing to do again is to use your numbers in order from least to greatest. Then we're gonna take the high number minus the low number, subtract the lowest number from the highest number. Let's take a look at an example. Again, we're going to continue to use the number of goals scored. So the first thing that I want to do is to order my numbers My high number is 8, my low number is 3, so I'm going to subtract 8 minus 3. My range is 5, high minus low. You try this one. Okay, I'll put my numbers in order. My high number is 9, my low number is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7, so my range is 7. So let's try them all together. Let's say that this is the number of students who have brought lunch over the last couple of days. Okay, I want you to find the mean, the average, the median, the middle number, the mode, the most common number, and then the range, the difference in high to low. So try each one of those. Come back to check your answer. Okay, so here's my number of students who brought their lunch for the last few days. When I find my mean, I'm going to add up my numbers. Then I'm going to divide by 7. It's the amount of numbers that I had. 62 divided by 7 is about 8.86 if we round to the hundredths place. So that's my average. On average, you might have a decimal, and it's okay to have a decimal. Now let's look at the median. Put my numbers in order from least to greatest. 
find my middle number. On this one, I only have one middle number. It's 9, so my median is 9. Let's look for the mode. My mode is 10. 10 occurs twice. All the other numbers only occur once. So that's going to be my mode, 10. The range, I take my high number minus my low number. The range is 6. We're going to talk more in class about how this information helps us determine things about a data set. Make sure you understand each concept. Bring your notes to class, and we'll see you tomorrow.